Kia ora whanau. You join us out in uh, Poranui at Halisika uh, outside of Taupo. Uh, it's a nice bright morning, it's about 9 o'clock in the morning and we are about to get all our shit together and start weighing up for the helicopter and deciding what it is that's coming out of our bags. Uh, we tend to overpack a little and um, overdo things on the alcohol and the food side of things so often it is a case of a process of elimination before we get on the helicopter. Will you join us this morning? <laughs> on our big mission for a week into the back of the Kaimanawas into a place called Ken's Hut. Our mission adventure, we are chasing Sika deer or Service Nippon, a Japanese species of deer that were introduced quite a number of years ago that have uh, successfully naturalized themselves into the bush. So uh, very very excited, we couldn't make this trip last year due to Covid so uh, yeah super excited to get into it. Let's go! Steve-O's Steve first flight on chopper. Virgin. Hold your hat bro when you walk yes. over there Steve. Fizzin, fizzin, fizzin. Fizzin. Man, look at the side of you. Big J. Ah. How good mate? Bloody marvellous. Home sweet home for the week. Welcome to Ken's Hut. Cozy wee number. I see Jay was quick yeah. to clean last, last trip speed. No hunting for me. Four hours. <laughs> After that, you can stop Nice cozy little number. Run by the uh, Mouldy Trust here. Now this is what happens when prior preparation comes into play. So we're in here in December 
and we decided it was a good idea to stash some mixes for the drinks come the raw so we fly in a bit lighter so I'm not going to show you the hiding spot we've already been there and retrieved the cash but what do we have here Jay? Uh. <laughs> Just a young box of mixes. <laughs> young. There's about 20 in there, Farno. <laughs> young, young. 20 boxes of uh, Coke we stashed pre raw, so we're, uh, we weren't overweight. Good to go. <laughs> so, when you put in the Mayhai, you get the treats. Alright, Farno, we'll just take a quick mission from the hut and show you where we're collecting our water. down from the hut as you've seen on the journey down. The beauty of this place never ceases to amaze me, eh? Cannot get, wait to get into the hunting. Hut prep's all been done now. Got plenty of firewood sorted, plenty of fresh water sorted. Going to make a plan with each other, sort out where we're going to head, where we're going to go. Plan to leave the hut at around two, between two and three, and we'll be coming back in the dark. All right, Farno, plans have been laid, so everyone's well aware of where everyone's going. Got a couple of Garmin rhinos with us, so we can see each other on each other's maps, which is a great safety feature. A couple of PLBs and an inreach in that, so we're in emergency contact, and. Um, we're going to go down to where our, we're all going to sort of split off into our separate directions and go for the first afternoon's hunt. Plan is to come back probably in the dark because the, um, the intel that we have in the area is that they don't really start cracking off until just before nightfall. So it doesn't give us a lot of shootable light until the dark. But hey, it's only day one of seven. So we'll see how we go. So um fingers crossed Fano, we're into it.
Well funny. Just got back from our um, first day of missions and what a first day. So got to go back up tomorrow to um, possibly locate a stag I managed to get a shot off on and uh, this man here on his first ever seeker hunt with a bow no less got a shot off on a <laughs> stag at about 30 meters uh, we've got fur which you'll see in the video footage fur on the arrow and um, a good solid hit so um, tomorrow we'll go on a location mission we ran out of light we've only just gotten back it's um, 20 to 9 and would you look at this funny? What a welcome! Jay himself welcome is home. cooking up a raucous feed. Look at the fat on those fellow fellow steaks there, funny. Uh, and oh, the technique, the technique. You know, Uncle Gordon would be proud. So <laughs> it's Uncle Roger. Uncle, Uncle Roger, Roger. Uncle Roger, don't cook rice like that. <laughs> Uncle Roger. And who started the fire? Was it you or Jay? Dennis. Hey. Ah, some would say, fire. some would say that it's no surprise that Jay started the fire. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hey, I, I didn't even go there, Jay. That, that yarn can wait for another time, Farno. So, awesome first day on the hill. Then this chap had uh, about as good a start as you could get without fucking coming home with the stag on your back. So, it'll be there. Back at it tomorrow, Farno. Till then, good night. <laughs>